Hey everyone, Luke here from Bedford Camera and Video, and we're going to be going over some of the menus in this Canon EOS R. Today we're going to be talking about the HDR shooting mode. Okay, so to get to the HDR shooting mode, you're going to hit the menu button, and then you're going to go from the first page of uh, the camera setup all the way over to the sub page of number five. And at the bottom, you'll see HDR mode, and you can click okay to get into that mode once you're in the hdr mode menu you have a few different ways to adjust the settings to fit your needs um, of course at the very top you have adjust dynamic range if you click into that you have a few different options disable hdr um, auto one through three a plus or minus ev now the plus and minus ev will determine a wider dynamic range in your photograph, you may want to move it to either auto or to plus and minus three EV. That will give you the best result for your HDR shooting. Now, we're going to leave it on auto for this time, moment. Under that will be effect. Effect has a few different things that you can choose from, from art standard, art vivid, bold, embossed. These are all going to be different profiles that you can utilize uh, to give different effects to the final image. Now, for right now, we're going to use natural, and this will give the most standard view of HDR. Under effect is continuous HDR. If you select that, you have two different options, one shot only and every shot one shot only is what it says. It will only apply the HDR effect to your next photograph. Whereas every shot will continually apply the HDR effect to multiple images as you're shooting. Underneath continuous HDR, you'll find auto image align. Enable and disable are your only two options. If you are shooting handheld, you're going to want to use enabled. This will automatically align the images and combine them into one singular photo with the HDR effect. Now, if you have this camera set on a tripod, you are going to want to turn this off because your camera's already set up and aligned in a stable position for the HDR mode. Underneath auto image align, you'll find save source images. If you click into that, there are two options all images and HDR images only. When you're shooting HDR, your camera is actually taking multiple exposures of underexposed, properly exposed, and overexposed, and combining them into one photo that has a high dynamic range. Now, if you select all images, that will save those individual photos onto your memory card as well as the finalized image of combining them together. If you select HDR image only, it will only save that final image, that final combined HDR image. It will not save the individual photos taken to get to that point. And there you have it, that's the HDR shooting mode in the EOS R. Go ahead and check out our other videos in this playlist to learn more about other cameras as well. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to our page. I'm Luke from Bedford Camera and Video, and we'll catch you next time.